Well, morning to you. I hope that you're well. And if you're watching live, then hopefully you're enjoying some of the sun that we've got at the moment. If you're watching on catch up later on, then you may or may not do because the forecast, I think, is increasingly wet for today, which will annoy my son, Joseph, as he um, is looking forward to cricket tonight. But um, anyway, we shall see. We might get away with it. Uh, either way, um, it's Tuesday. It's the 11th of May and um, all seemingly is well here, at least. Um, and um, today we're going to be praying in our calendar of prayer in the Diocese of Bath and Wells for nurseries and schools and everyone who works in education, including the education team in the diocese. Um, headed up, of course, by Ed Gregory, who uh, used to be head teacher here in Taunton. So um, it's good to pray for them. And we'll be hearing uh, words from the Bible, as always, Psalm 124, as well as passages from Deuteronomy and the first letter of Peter. Well, let's offer this time to God as we come before God this morning. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. So to the words of Psalm 124. Short, but no doubt sweet. If the Lord himself had not been on our side, now may Israel say, if the Lord had not been on our side when enemies rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger burned against us? Then would the waters have overwhelmed us and the torrents gone over our soul? Over our soul would have swept the raging waters. But blessed be the Lord who has not given us over to be a prey for their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are delivered. Our help is in the name of the Lord who has made heaven and earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. More from the Old Testament in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 to 14. If you will only obey the Lord your God by diligently observing all his commandments that I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, both the increase of your cattle and the issue of your flock. 
Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing upon you in your barns and in all that you undertake. He will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as his holy people as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. All the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. The Lord will make you abound in prosperity, in the fruit of your womb, in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground in the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give you. The Lord will open for you his rich storehouse, the heavens, to give rain of your land in its season and to bless all your undertakings. You will lend to many nations, but you will not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You shall be only at the top and not at the bottom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I am commanding you today, by diligently observing them, and if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I am commanding you today, either to the right or to the left, following other gods to serve them. And so we turn to the New Testament <coughs> with Peter, chapter 4, verses 12 to the end. Peter writes, Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's sufferings, so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the spirit of glory, which is the spirit of God, is resting on you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, a criminal, or even as a mischief maker. Yet, if any of you suffers as a Christian, do not consider it a disgrace, but glorify God because you bear this name. The time has come for judgment to begin with the household of God. If it begins with us, what will be the end for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if it is hard for the righteous to be saved... What will become of the ungodly and the sinners? Therefore, let those suffering in accordance with God's will entrust themselves to a faithful creator while continuing to do good. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? So to the Benedictus. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. To you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. You will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Lord is risen from the tomb, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. So we turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day before us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. A word today which reminds us in different ways that walking with you, walking in our faith isn't always easy. That you don't promise us an easy life sometimes in different ways because of our faith life may be challenging maybe it's because of others other people's reactions to our faith maybe it's difficult to follow you in our lives so we do recognize that our faith isn't always easy but Lord, we thank you that you're always there. We thank you that you honour that faith, the sacrifices and the commitments made in your name. I do pray in particular for those who suffer persecution, for those Christians around the world and indeed within our own country who suffer for the sake of following you. Lord, we pray for your protection to be upon them in every way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you for the gift of faith. We thank you for our parishes within the benefice of Staple Grove with Norton Fitzwarren. We thank you for your faithfulness to our communities down the ages. Thank you that we are now privileged to be part of that long history we do ask that you will bless us bless us as a church community we ask that you would continue to enable us to to grow and to re-establish ourselves as our various activities resume praying that you will grant us wisdom to do so safely and healthily. Lord, as we thank you for the anticipated return of still more activities possible next week, so we pray for our own lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We do recognise, Heavenly Father, the vulnerability of many within our communities and we pray for for those who do feel vulnerable those who perhaps don't yet have the confidence to be able to re-engage socially lord we pray that your holy spirit will watch over them we as church communities will find ways of reaching out to the lost and the vulnerable Lord, we pray that you would watch over us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Within our diocese today, we're asked to pray for the education team, the schools, the nurseries. So we do pray in particular for the two schools within our benefice of Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren thanking you for the links that we have already and praying that those links will grow as opportunities begin to re-emerge. We pray for their respective head teachers and the staff, the communities and above all the children at those schools. They will remain safe and continue to grow and learn and develop and experience life in all its fullness we pray for our diocesan education team, for Ed Gregory and all school chaplains, and indeed for those who are exploring uh, chaplaincy. Lord, 
in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, we turn to pray for those we know who are suffering. As we remember once again that life isn't always easy. And all of us experience times when we feel low, vulnerable, challenged for whatever reason. And we know that throughout society, throughout the global community, the last 12, 15 months have been especially challenging for many people. So we do continue to pray for those directly affected by COVID. For those perhaps we know who have, who have died, have been seriously ill. We thank you for the continued development of the vaccination programme. Lord, we do bring before you those who need our prayers at this time. The anxious, the lonely, those who are physically ill, those experiencing mental health problems, or those simply who are fed up. Lord, we bring before you in our hearts those by name who we want to lift to you. asking that your spirit will be with them at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, whilst we continue to celebrate the joy of this Easter season, the risen Jesus Christ bursting from the tomb, the promise of eternal life, so we recognise that whilst that is good news, that death still leaves those of us left behind feeling sad and pained. So we do pray for those who grieve. And especially today, we pray for the family and friends of Kathy Edmeads, whose funeral takes place this afternoon. So we pray that you would support them at this time as they remember and celebrate her life. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And Lord, we do commit the day ahead of you to you and ask simply that you will bless us, that you will use us as you see fit. So the plans and intentions that we have, we commit to you and ask simply that your will be done. we offer today's collect to you. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And may the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. really good to have you join me today and I hope that you have a really good rest of the day and look forward to catching up with you again soon. Go well. <laughs>